Bono, sit. Good boy. Stay. 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 Hi, everybody. Welcome to my home studio. Thanks for joining me for your yoga practice. My name is Kelly, and this is Bono, my friend. Today's yoga practice, we're going to start working on arm balances. For the next several yoga videos or yoga practices, today, one very specific point. Let's get started on the mat. It's about a 30-minute practice. Thanks for joining me. Sit. There you go. Good boy. Come right here. Right there. Right there. Go ahead. Sit down. Good job. All right. So come to a seated position on your mat. Cross your legs and sit up tall. If you need to, you can sit up on, t on something, a blanket or a cushion. And um, let's start with reaching the arms up and sinking your breath with movement. Inhale, reach up and look up at your hands and then exhale, sweep the arms down. Inhale and reach. This time, bring your hands behind your head, palms facing your head, warming up the shoulders. Inhale and reach out to the sides, and then turn your palms facing rear, palms behind the back, and then reach down, rotate the palms forward, thumbs up as you reach up, palms facing the back of the head. So the one thing you need to do with arm balances is, is of course, warming up the shoulders, the shoulder girdle, all the muscles, and the chest and the back, hands behind the head, and then also then strengthening those muscles. Reach down and arms go behind the back. Do that one more time. Hi, Bono. Inhale and reach up and stretch overhead. Now this time I want you to exhale and turn. Hi. Turn. Sit. Sit. Bono, sit. Turn. Put your hand behind your, your back. Take a breath in. Exhale. Reach this back arm up and over your ear and lean over to the side, holding your leg on this side. And then bring this upper arm down. Place your hand right here on the outside of your leg. Round your back. <laughs> Stop. Round your back. And then release. Uncross the arms and reach up and stretch overhead. Sit. Sit, Bono. Bono, sit. Sit. And turn. Hand on the outside of the leg. <laughs> and then reach that back arm up and over the ear and lean. Lean to the side, so stretching the side body. Then place this upper arm down to your thigh, round your back, stretch, and then flatten, and then uncross the arms and reach up and stretch overhead. And now let's do cat-cow. So hands on the mat, come onto your hands and your knees, and lower your belly, look forward, place the top of your feet on the floor, exhale and round your back. Inhale. Look forward, exhale, round your back. Inhale and lower, press your fingertips into the floor, exhale and round. One more time, inhale, and then exhale, round. Let's reach the right arm forward and make a fist, reach the left leg back straight, and you can point your toes right there, straight, arm to leg, arm beside the ear, hold for three, two, and then one, set your knee down and your hand down, chain sides, reach the arm, reach the leg, make a fist, point your toes right here, hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, and set your knee down, and now let's go back to the other side, reach your right arm, make a fist, reach the left leg, and put the top of your foot on the floor. Reach the point of your toes, reach your fist to your thigh right there. Keep your back flat, reach. So strengthening the core muscles as you move the opposing limbs. Leg to thigh and reach. Do that again, touch and then reach. One more time, so five on each side. Set it down, opposite side. Press the top of the foot, reach the arm, Make a fist, reach the leg, point your toes, spread your fingers, fist to thigh, inhale, exhale. Don't lift the leg, don't arch the spine, just reach straight. Keep the back straight right there as you bring the hand in to touch the thigh. One more time, reach and tap, and then reach. Now set your hand on the floor, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Push the floor away, 
right there, reach the heels towards the back of the mat. Then inhale, lift your right leg up, turn your toes out and bend your knee, stretch the hips, the front of the pelvis, extend the leg straight, look forward and step that right foot forward, come into a lunge position. So reach the arms up, keep the heel up in the back, bring your hands down to your heart and as you do that, lower your knee down to the mat. For Anjaneyasana, or a lunge, low lunge position, stretching the thighs, reach up and stretch, and now lean over to the right side. Right hand on the thigh to brace, left arm up and over. Take a breath in, and then exhale, hamstring stretch right here. So lengthen that hamstring, flex your foot. Now let's go to the long edge of the mat. Put your foot on the floor. Lift up your back knee and walk your hands to the back and then to the front again. Bring it to the back and then to the front. One more time to the back and then turn to the front right here. Reach your right arm up. Keeping the left hand on the floor. Spread those fingers. First twist. Then exhale, plant your hand on the floor, extend the right leg back straight, plank pose, and then shift forward, lower down to the mat. Place the tops of your feet on the floor, fingertips on the floor, cobra pose, just a small or a short cobra as we're warming up the spine, lower down, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Reach the heels to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Turn your toes out and bend your knee. Press the floor away. Reach the legs straight. And then step your left foot forward. Crescent pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Right there. Exhale, hands to your heart. Lower down and then lower the knee at the same time to the mat. Anjaneyasana. Lift your hips up a little bit. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Left hand on your left thigh, reach the right arm up and over. You can move this foot over for more balance right there. Lengthen over to the side. Inhale, and then reach up. Half split, hamstring stretch right there. Point your toes, stretching the hamstring. And now put your foot flat. We're gonna go to the long edge of the mat, lift your knee. Turn your feet and lunge side to side, side to side. Do it one more time. <laughs> you have a book of mine. <laughs> the heart of yoga, perfect, Bono. Turn and face the front and reach the left arm up and twist. Don't need my book. Right there, look up at your hand. Excellent work. Bring your hand down to the floor, step forward and fold. Inhale, half lift, hands to the thighs, arch to the knees, look forward. Exhale, fold and inhale and stand tall. And I have to go and get the book. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Standing, reach up and stretch overhead. Sun salutation A. Let's do that two times. Exhale, fold over your body. Place your hands to the floor as you bend your knees and then lift up halfway. When you come up halfway, bring your hands to your knees so you're using your back to lift up. That's strengthening the back and the core muscles. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Lower down to the mat. Do a medium-sized cobra. So press into your hands, pull your abs in, lift up, pull your elbows in towards your body, shoulders away from the ears, exhale, and lower, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Step forward to your hands, several steps. Inhale, half lift, hands to your knees, lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale and stand tall, reach up. Right back into the, or right into the next round, exhale and fold. Sweep the hands down the center line of the body, inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Lower down to the mat all the way, a medium-sized cobra. So press into the hands, lift up, shoulders back, elbows in. Exhale and lower, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, and breathe. 
look forward, take a big step forward, other foot, lengthen, hands to knees, exhale, fold, inhale, and stand tall, reach up. Directly into sun salutation B. So sink your hips back, widen your heels, reach your arms forward beside your ears. So if you looked right or left, you can see underneath your arm. Look forward, knees together, inhale, exhale, fold over. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands to knees. Exhale, step back, plank. Lower down to the mat. Cobra pose, still warming up the spine, shoulders down away from the ears, elbows in. Exhale, lower, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, right foot forward, warrior one. Heel down, inhale, reach, drop that, or draw the left hip forward, left side forward. Exhale, hands to your heart, hands forward, place the hands beside your foot, step back plank, roll through your vinyasa, lower down, cobra. Exhale, lower first, then tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Left leg, step forward, warrior one. Heel on the floor on the right foot. Inhale, lift. Draw your right side forward. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Hinge forward, hands to the mat. Plank, lower, up dog, our cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Look forward, bend your knees, step to your hands. One big step, other foot. Inhale, half lift hand to knees. Exhale, bring your feet together, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Arms beside the ears, hips go back. Weight in your heels. Bring your palms to your hands. Shift your chest forward, just slightly flat back and twist. Turn to the right, thumbs to your heart. Good. Inhale and reach, strengthening those legs. Exhale, twist the opposite way. Thumbs to your heart, breathe in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the floor, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and fold and hold. You can separate your feet right here, fold over, reach for the elbows and hold. Let the body hang long, arms framing the head, and then sway the arms side to side. And then release the elbows, bend your knees, and sit on your mat. So we'll do a couple of variations, warming up the body, similar positions to doing crow pose. So lowering down, so the first arm balance that we'll start working on is gonna be crow pose. So back on the floor, bring your knees into your chest and just first hold right here and point your feet up, happy baby pose. So make it an easy pose first. So your knees are on the outside of your shoulders, your feet are facing the ceiling, pull your knees down beside the shoulders and look straight up. You can rock a little side to side. That just feels good. And then release your feet. Bring the edges of your feet together. So not the bottom of your feet, but the edge of your feet together. And then reach your arms through the legs right here. There's your crow pose. Bring the knees behind your triceps. Edges of your feet together. Palms flat like you're going up into crow pose. Reach, 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 reach. Three, two, and then one. And then set your feet on the floor. Tip the knees side to side, right, and then left. So this move is to strengthen isometrically the muscles that you use coming up into crow. So it's more about strengthening the core than your arms or your shoulders, of course, because we're on our back. So lift your legs up again, and then starting here, bring the edges of your feet together, arms through the legs, lift up your shoulders off the floor, reach your hands on either side of your feet right there, or forward and hold it, knees behind the triceps for five, four, three, two, and one, and then lower, 
feet on the floor, tip the knees side to side. One more time. And let's go again. Three times a charm. So lift the legs up. Bring the knees in towards the shoulders. You can use your hands to do that. To do that, flex your feet. Reach the arms on the inside of your legs. Put the edges of your feet together. Lift up your shoulder blades off the floor, and then round the back. Reach the arms and hold. Knees behind the triceps. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then relax. Feet on the floor, tip the knees side to side. And then gather your knees into your chest and then roll up to a seated position. Feet on the floor. So this is the second strengthener. We'll do this three times. Shoulders down from the ears. Bring your legs together first. Walk your feet in. And then lean back, like you're, going to, you're in a leaning chair. <laughs> Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Lift the right leg and the left leg. There's your boat pose. Hands behind your hamstrings if you need that support, or hands behind the back. Now bring the edges of your feet together. Separate your knees right there. And then reach your arms through the legs. So bring the knees in towards the triceps and reach the arms, the hands forward. So here you can round your back. So like you're coming into that crow pose right there. Hold it for three, two, and then one. Feet together in Baddha Konasana pose. So sit up tall and then hinge forward right here. So the edges of your feet, see them together right there on the mat. And then lift up. Use your hands to bring the legs in together. Lean back, flat back first, and then lift your legs. This is your boat pose. Flaunt your feet, then pull your, put the edges of your feet together. Bend your knees towards your chest, and then reach your arms in the center of your legs. Reach the palms flat. Reach, 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 reach. Knees squeezing the triceps right there. Three, two, and then one. Feet on the floor. And then sit up tall first. Flat back, lean forward. One more time, lift up, legs together, lean back, lift your feet. Remember, you're preparing, strengthening the body. Reach your hands forward over time. You'll progress to feeling like you can just kind of float up into crow pose. There's just one specific thing I'm going to teach you today. Reach, and then set your feet on the floor. Come onto your hands and your knees. Cat, cow, cat, and then cow. Cat pose, and then cow pose. One more time, cat, and then cow. So lift your knees up and step to the center of your mat. Bring your feet together, lift your heels, sink your hips down to your, or your glutes to your heels right there. So balancing on the balls of your feet for just a moment. And maybe you just practice this. This is a great way to strengthen the ankles and the feet. Shoulders back, stay right there. Now to practice crow, we're just gonna practice. I'm gonna show you one of the principal points. That is that you need to well, first separate your knees and your hands are between the legs, right? So then put your hands flat on the floor. Know that when you're coming up into crow, it's a forward motion, not a lifting motion. So you're shifting forward as you lift your feet off the floor. So we're just going to practice shifting forward. So your fingertips, think of them as brakes so you don't fall forward. And if you're new to this, you can put a big old cushion right in front of your face so you don't face plant. Sound like a good idea? Go ahead and do that. You can pause the video. Get a cushion so that you can come up and if you fall, you just kind of hit that. It's okay. So I've done that many times. <laughs> so hands on the floor, press into your hands fully, fingertips. Now lift your hips. And my elbows are flaring right there. That's fine. So you want to do that. So my knees are right behind my triceps, almost to my armpits. And then I'm going to press my triceps into my 
my, the back of my arms into my knees right there, our shins, and then spread your fingers, and then you're just going to look forward, and you're just going to shift forward and lift your heels and then shift back. So that's the, mo that's the motion to come up and to crow. It's not a lifting motion. So you're not going down. Now my hips are lifting slightly, but it's really just a moving forward motion to the tippy toes, right? So that's it. Press, elevate, and then shift, 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 shift. And then maybe you can lift the toes up off the floor and then set them down and shift back. Do that again. So the heels close together. Shift, 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 and lift and set it down. One more time. Shift, press, lift your toes up and set your feet down, nicely done. And then lift your hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale and stand all the way up, reach up overhead. So the key point for this class is it's a movement forward whenever you're coming up into crow pose and a shifting of weight as you move forward. And eventually, it just, you kind of just figure it out. So don't think lift up, it's moving forward. Inhale and reach. Everybody, let's go through a flow as is middle of the class. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, hands to your knees. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to downward facing dog right here. We've already worked those arms. Let's give them a break. Reach your right leg up. Turn your toes out and bend your knee. Then extend the leg straight. Step your right foot forward to your right thumb. And then lift up warrior two. Inhale and reach. So just a little free flowing right here. Relax the shoulders. Shoulders over the hips. Reverse warrior, arm goes up, the back hand goes back, the left hand taps the back of your knee if you can, and then side angle. So right here, your sides are straight. Maybe you can reach down and touch the floor and look to the side, open your body to the side. Reverse, inhale, exhale, so we'll do three of these. Reach the arm, inhale, reach back, and then side angle again right there. Now look forward, look at the mat. We're gonna do a balancing pose with one leg, one arm, half moon pose. Right hand goes forward of your right, your right foot, lift the left leg up, keep that right foot straight. Turn your left toes out, reach the left arm up. Draw the shoulder back, flex your foot. Nicely done. Now set your foot on the floor. Let's do a side plank the opposite direction. So left hand on the floor, move your right foot to the center and turn, reach the right arm up and then reach the, maybe bring the leg right on top of the other leg. So you're stacking the legs, pointing your feet, reach the arm over the ear, inhale and then exhale, place your hand on the floor and lower down to the mat. Let's do Salambhasana or Locust Pose. So feet on the floor, look at the mat, press your forehead down. Notice your abs engage right there, reach the hands to your sides, turn your palms facing down, lift the body up off the mat, look at the mat, reach the arms forward, and then reach the arms to your sides, and then lower right here. Turn your head to the right or left. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift. Reach the arms forward, reach the arms side, turn your palms down, and then lower, turn your head to the left. Let's do that again, lift up, and this time, pull your shoulders back, bend your knees, lift the thighs, reach for your feet, press your feet into your hands, bow pose, breathe. Lift your feet, pull your legs in towards each other, it's a nice, upper or front body stretch, back body contraction. Now let it go all the way down carefully. Place your hands on the floor, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, turn your toes out and bend your knee. Look over there, see your foot. Press the floor away, extend the leg straight, 
Look forward, step your left foot forward. Set your right heel down, warrior two. Right there, shoulders over the hips. So when you come into warrior two, go ahead and reach back slightly. Press into your feet. Reverse warrior, right hand to the back of your right leg. Maybe you can get behind the knee by leaning back further. And then reach to side angle. Sides are straight right here. Forearm on the leg or reach down and touch the floor. Three times. Inhale, reverse, knee over the ankle, and then side angle right here. Straight sides. Inhale, reverse. Here your, your side body bends, and then side angle right here. Now look down at your foot, move your left hand forward, line up your thumb with your pinky toe, then lift up your right leg, reach the right arm up straight, flex your foot, open your body to the side, straight body, don't drop the head. Good job, relax the shoulders. Now set your foot on the floor. Bring your right hand to the floor and line your thumb up with your big toe. Now we're gonna turn the opposite direction for side plank. Move your hand, foot to the center and turn. Lift the hip, reach the arm up. Maybe you can stack your legs right here. Breathe, arm over the ear. Beautiful. Now look down, place your hand on the floor. Come into downward facing dog and breathe. Step to the center of your mat with your feet together and forward fold. Now start to lift up your chest, bend your knees and sit on your heels. One more time. A little bit of practice. We're just practicing guys, not trying to lift up. You don't need to do that at all right here. We're just strengthening. Remember, over the next series of videos, that's over time, you'll build strength and confidence and understand the connection of finding your center and shifting your weight forward. So separate your knees, heels together, or the inside of your feet together. Place your hands on the floor. Spread your fingers. Remember, your fingertips are like your brakes. Get a cushion if you need to in front of, to place in front of your fingers, your hands. Lift up your knees behind your triceps and then are your arms. And then you're gonna hug your legs in as you round your back, press your hands into the floor, look forward, shift forward, and then shift back. So just, just do that, shift forward. The weight is all the way onto your hands and shift back. And remember, you're hugging the legs in, rounding the back, rounding, 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 and press your hands down and maybe lift your toes for a millisecond and then shift back and do it again. And then that's it. Bend your knees, sit on your heels, sit on your butt, and let's cool down the body. Lower onto the mat. Feet on the floor, back of the head on the floor arms to your sides, feet wider than your hips. If you are newer to yoga, to yoga, bring your feet to the edges of the mat. So we're going to do glute bridge. When you come up into glute bridge, you want to have your back pressing down and then go ahead and gather your shoulder blades underneath you, right? Because you're eventually going to get your arms together or towards each other. So back of the head straight on the flat mat, press your back into the floor, lift your hips up, clasp your hands and get your arms underneath you. And so once you do that, press the edge of your fingers into the floor and your arms and your shoulders are just that nice shelf right there, holding you up. Press into your feet, abs slightly contracted, one more breath, unclasp your hands, and lower down all the way. Spread your blades apart. And relax for a moment. Nothing to do, nowhere to be, but in this moment, one more time. And if you have will in your yoga practice, come up into will. Otherwise, bridge pose. So press your lower back down, pull your arms up under you, 
Press the lower back, lift up your hips, gather the arms, clasp your fingers, act like you're pulling your fingers apart so that the edge of the fingers on the floor. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and then one. Unclasp, lower down. Nicely done, nice practice. Bring your right knee into your chest, left leg out straight. Rotate your foot, both directions. And now place your right ankle on your left knee, press the right knee away. Relax the shoulders. Now set your left foot on the floor, arms out to the sides, let the tip, knees tip over to the right side. Look over to the left. Pull your back towards the mat. Think about your breath, your breathing, your body. If you're holding stress in any place, lift your legs and change sides. Left knee in, right leg out straight. Rotate your left foot. Other direction. Place your ankle on your knee. Reach through, pull the legs in, press the knee away. Hip rotator stretch, piriformis stretch. Set your right foot on the floor, arms are out, knees over to the left. Look over to the right. And then lift up, nicely done. Bring your knees into your chest. And either roll to the side or roll up to a seated position. Cross your legs. Bring your hands together. Close your eyes. Thumbs with a light touch to the brow in gratitude for our ability to move and to practice. And then bring the edge of the thumbs to the heart and thanks. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that.